Hello and welcome to my channel. I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you how to use the dimension tool in Adobe Illustrator. It's over here in the bottom left panel next to the eyedropper. So let's grab that tool and you can see a toolbar popped up. We can measure linear, angular, radial dimensions. And then we have some additional tool options, which is where you can select line weight, line type, the dimension text font. So it was on Myriad Pro. Let's go ahead and draw a line. And I'm clicking and you can hold shift to constrain it. Click again. And now it's giving me an option to draw a long line, which you may or may not want. Maybe you want no line. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit of a line. And you can see I did create my artboard to scale in inches. So our text is quite small as well as the line thickness. So up here at the top, when I select the dimension, I can change the dimension line and I could change the extension lines here. And for the text, definitely need to enlarge that. And I'm gonna give it enter font. You can see my dimensions are not quite what I want them to be. So kind of a drawback here is if I transform this line width, you can see it did not update the dimension to the width. So that's a bit of a drawback in that I would have to redraw that line. Let's go ahead and double click on the tool again, and I'm gonna update my font so I don't have to keep changing that. Another option might be to add a character style under window, type character styles. And that way, instead of having to select the dimension lines, we can just update the text dynamically by double clicking on the character style and editing the properties. Let's go ahead and add some more dimensions. So if I had everything marked up how I wanted to, and now I can transform everything. Let's say we wanted to do something like half scale. And that way it kept our dimensions. So you can't change the dimensions dynamically, but you could create them at dimension and then scale everything to maintain the dimensions. Let's go ahead and explore an angle measurement. To measure the angle, we're gonna click on the apex of the angle where the lines meet. And let's see what it gives us for options on that. I was playing with some of these numbers on the offset and unless I'm just not seeing it, I wasn't able to change the offset from this without just clicking on the number to move it and rotate it. So let's do that again. And your object will need to be unlocked. And it looks like I have to click into the dimension to be able to move the text and transform it. Let's do one more with a circle. And it looks like we need to start from the outer circle and it will read the radius. Let's try an oval and see how that works. So see, it's not allowing me to measure the oval. It would only allow me to use a perfect circle. It is in beta, so hopefully there'll be some more features in the future where you can choose dynamic dimensions and ovals and other shapes. If this video helped you out, please like the video so others can find it and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Take care.